Yes, um, I've been the module leader for a level one module for with something like 200 students. And I wanted to have interactive videos, whether they were pre-recorded or live. Uh, so let me just show you how I did that. I used a free service called um, Itempool. So this is just a website, itempool.com, where you can create these items, um, these um, Q um, multiple choice questions or math input questions uh, and link them to your videos. So this is how uh, uh, the module page on Itempool for my module looked like. Um, so what you can see here is all sorts of different uh, videos. And if you click on one of these, you get to start this challenge, um, which uh, looks um, something like this for a video. So you can see me here talking about something. Um, and at a certain point in the video, I have a, a question coming up. So I ask them a question in the video, they can uh, interact with, uh, oh, okay, it's just <laughs> seemed to have crashed anyways. So they can interact, uh, input their answers, and then we can just, I actually in the video, in the pre-recorded video, answer the question myself. So that's one thing that's about the pre-recorded videos, which they usually got to watch um, from the beginning of the week. And at the end of the week, uh, we did something like this. So a live uh, Q&A where I send them to uh, item pool once more. Uh, so let me see if I can open up the chat um, and put this link in the chat. So if you go to this website, uh, itempool.com uh, slash talmo slash live, you can um, answer this question. What's your favorite number live now? Um, hopefully this works. Um, let's see. Okay, I already see a few uh, submissions. You can even um, set up a timer. So, uh, you know, students see how much time they have and also you can keep track of time this way a bit better. And uh, once time is up, you can just, you know, uh, finish uh, a poll like this. Again, you can set up multiple choice questions or math input questions like this one. So if you go to the website, you see a, and you tap on this uh, input box, you will see like a virtual keyboard coming up. So you can type in pretty uh, um, involved, complicated stuff, um, not just uh, numbers. Um, so let me just uh, stop uh, the voting and uh, see see what's um, what is people's favorite number. What are people people's favorite numbers? Uh, okay, so forty-two and seven uh, came out on top. So, anyways, so once you have once we have uh, had a a question like this with this hist with, with this histogram building up, I always mess this up. Um, I could just, you know, um, go to my notebook, which is again me with my hands. It's a live person, so it's not a ghost writing on a on a on a piece of on a tablet or something. Uh, it's an actual person, I, and I could show them the working out. We could discuss the problem, um, and uh, basically all all of this I did using um, OBS. Um, so just to summarize quickly, um, the, the, the four more important, most important points for me in setting up um, these interactive lectures were to have a clear structure. So an easy to follow weekly schedule, beginning of the week, they got the pre-recorded stuff. At the end of the week, we had a live Q and A type of thing that you have just uh, witnessed. I tried to have um, engaging lecture videos uh, and live lectures as well. Um, they got constant feedback, um, even um, when, when they didn't get any forms, they could see how they progressed. And we had a, I would say, a positive uh, human atmosphere with lots of mistakes on both sides. Uh, so that's it for me. Thank you.